So Betty White has passed away, and it appears to be just natural causes from what I can tell. And, you know, she seemed like a, a great woman, and she actually came off as a person that was a lot of fun, even in her old age. Like, she still seemed pretty lively. But she passed away, and that's just, you know, the way things are in life. Now, what I was curious about, because we saw this with John Madden, usually when someone passes away, social media will do whatever they can to try to smear them. We saw that with John Madden, where literally some guy was saying that he ran a digital plantation because of his video games, trying to run the Colin Kaepernick stuff. They're not really doing that with with Betty White because she's actually a real civil rights person, unlike a lot of these people today who are just looking to make themselves feel important. She actually did something back in the day that showed that she was very anti-racist by sticking up for this man right here, Arthur, Arthur Duncan, who is a black tap, tap dancer. And this was on, I'm guessing, her variety show. And they didn't want him on it, but she said, okay, you're going to have to live with it. And pretty much threw the gauntlet down. So kind of hard to run around and say that she was some kind of racist like they like they want to do. They were even saying about John Madden, who uh, by all accounts seemed like one of the nicest dudes out there. It doesn't stop people, though, because there are some clowns on here like this guy saying Betty White was born in 1922. She was probably racist. But of course, he's he's walking it back as a joke. There's this one right here as well. No way. Betty White wasn't racist. I want to point out, this is mere minutes after the woman had passed away. And this is what we got to do. We got to get on social media and trash somebody. But for the most part, uh, people aren't really trashing her. In fact, instead of trashing her, what they're doing now is wishing that Queen Elizabeth was dead and that she was still around. Because no one can just pass away and be remembered, right? You can't just you can't just pass away and not have some kind of blood for the blood gods of social media. Someone has to be destroyed. So now and you know, Queen Elizabeth, I'm sure she's everyone's got some skeletons, right? I don't know too much about royalty other than I don't like uh Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. I think they're clowns and I wish they would go back to England. But this just this just is a really good example of just how nasty these people are. Because, like, look at this. Y'all having Queen Elizabeth trending because y'all want to sacrifice her for Betty White is kind of funny. I'm sorry everyone on Twitter is going to hell. Very, very true. Very, very true. We said Queen Elizabeth, not Betty White. So, see, someone's got to be destroyed. If someone, if someone dies, if that person... Look at this blue check mark. Queen Elizabeth, your ticket is waiting. If someone passes away, somebody has to... They, that person either needs to be rung through the the cleaners or somebody else has got to get destroyed. So now they'll say, okay, well, we'll take another old white woman. We'll go ahead and since we can't destroy Betty White and, you know, smear her because she has quite the lineup of evidence and receipts of not being a, a racist or a piece of shit. We'll just go ahead now and wish that the Queen of England was dead. This is Twitter in a nutshell. Like, look at the Here's a blue check mark. Queen Elizabeth, your ticket is waiting. What do you think this person's saying? She's saying, okay, well, we need you to die now. So, like, I, I'm predicting it. Wait till she passes away. And she's pretty old. I don't know how old she is exactly. She's got to be up there getting close to 100. Um, as soon as that happens, they're gonna they're gonna go crazy on social media. I'm actually surprised that they're not ignoring the evidence that Betty White is in fact not a piece of shit or racist and just saying in any way other than a handful of people. For the most part, um, they're just doing stuff like this. Betty White dying is so cruel because Queen Elizabeth was literally right there. This is Twitter. This is the nastiness of humanity. This is literally this. She literally started trending an hour 
after this news of Betty White. I don't even think it's been that long. I don't even think it's been an hour as of the time of me recording this video. But, you know, it's just it, it's just funny. We can't get her, so let's wish somebody else was literally dead. The, who lives life like this, wishing that people would die? Like, don't you have any... Don't you have anything else to do in your life other than seethe and hate on people and destroy people? It's insane. You want to talk about the end of humanity and things that could cause the end of humanity? Like, Twitter is it. Social media has really brought out the worst in people. You can't just say, oh, she lived a great life. Nope, it's not. Well, we can't destroy her. So let's say Queen Elizabeth needs to go. He's fucking serious, man. People need to get a grip. Why are Betty White and Queen Elizabeth stands fighting each other? Please end this year immediately. This is, it's just, it's gross, man. So anyway, I don't know. That's pretty much it. What are your guys' thoughts on all of this? I, I Do you think that this is ever going to change? Do you think people are always going to be gross and disgusting? Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, do you have any... Betty White memories. How do you feel about Queen Elizabeth? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Also, Happy New Year. I hope everyone has a good New Year. Uh, be safe for New Year's Eve. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.